Pastor Michael David Watson. I have a story to tell, a little testimony. You've never heard of this before. This is, this is new, so I'm new to you. So in 2020, I called Pastor Michael. No, he was online giving prophecies, helping people. And I was on Facebook Live, and I, re, you know, I couldn't chat, but I was having some issues um, at home. And he closes his eyes, and he goes, a book. The Lord is telling me there's a book in your home, and that is what's causing the problem. And I was like, I thought about it, and I said, Pastor Michael's a false prophet. Mm -mm. <laughs> I said, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. so that was that. About three months later, I met another lady, and she said to me, she said, I don't know, as I look at you, I see this pyramid over your head, and the pyramid just explodes. And um, I don't know if that means anything to you, but you can ask God about it. And I was like, okay. I thought about it. I said, she's a false prophet too. I'm like, what is going on with me? I said, well, the more I love the prophetic gift, I, I have this not idolize it. I love it. I'm like, well, what is going on, right? A few months later, I was in my son's room going through his box of memorabilia when he was a little boy. And in there, was a book that my former assistant gave me speaking bad about Jesus in the Bible. Wow. And I was like, oh, the book. And then when I looked at the book closely, it had a pyramid on this book. And I was like, oh my God, Lord, I repent for these thoughts I had about these prophets. I'm so sorry. And I, that book went poof. It sure did. It exploded in a trash can outside the house immediately. And so that is just a testament to the accuracy of his prophetic gift. And I just thank you for that. And you were the first one in 2017 that told me that I was a prophetic sniper and helped me to understand why I operate the way I operate and go through the things I go through. So, I want to introduce to you Pastor Michael David Watson. He's an author, prophetic artist, founder, and pastor of the Great Health Center Ministry and Business Center in Cleveland, Ohio. Let's give him a great welcome. Yeah. Wow, well, praise the Lord. Praise him. Praise I know she was looking at me like a book. I'm like, Lord, why you got me seeing this book? Praise the Lord. That's a, that blesses me. So I, it's, you know, you, you, you operate in the prophetic and you release words and you don't always see the, you know, God's response or you don't always see the outcome. It's just trusting God. And so that's one thing that I've learned, you know, and you got to give you those words. And there's a season sometimes he'll take you through where you're seeing your own words come to pass. And he's giving you confidence. He's giving you confidence in what? Your gift. Because there's going to come a day where you'll stand in front of people. And you need that confidence to carry your gift. And God started that. He started that out in me when I was 19 or 18 or 19. And I was living on my own. And I can remember when the Lord started to give me prophetic words. And I remember I wrote about 15 pages of prophecy in a book. I was in prayer. I was in the spirit. I didn't understand one thing I was writing. I was talking about things that was going to happen in the future in my life. It prophesied about my wife. It prophesied 10 different things, characteristics that she carries. When I showed her the, the word the Lord gave me 20 years ago, or wait, was it 20? Has it been 20 years? My God. It's been about 17. Goodness gracious. I wrote that and she was blown away. There's no way that that could be so pinpoint on my personality. And so somebody say, God knew. God knew. Come on. 